Well, when we had a quick break to change the cards and the camera, I put my mascara and my eyelashes on now. So I'm just gonna check my eyeliner, make sure that there's no gaps between the eyelashes and my real eyelashes. So let's just check that out really quick. See, this one looks a little bit lower over here. So just gonna bring that up a slight bit. And let's see what else. I'm going to put a little dab of white more on top up here. Yes, makeup is a step-by-step -step process. I mean, if you're just putting on lipstick and eyeliner, it can take you five minutes, but if you really want to put on a face that's gonna last you all night, or if you wanna go to have something more of a little bit of an extreme look, I'm going to have to do something like this. Okay, now I'm going to check around my eyelashes and just for good measure, I'm going to put an extra line around them. Get under the bottom ones too. Bring a little out there. And the same thing over here. These spider lashes are a little bit different than regular eyelashes because they are spread apart quite a bit. But I do think they have a really sexy, unique look to them. And at one point, I wasn't really big into false eyelashes, but after wearing them for a couple of times, you know, it, it doesn't feel like there's anything on my eyes now except some maybe a little bit of an extra coat or two of mascara, so they're really not anything to get uh, that hard to wearing. And you know, I've never had eyelash extensions or anything like that before, but if it's anything like hair extensions, I mean, these ones, you put them on, you know, if you're going out, you wanna look pretty, put them on. If you don't want to, just take them off. Okay, so let me just touch up the whites in my eyes, then we're gonna do my lips. Okay, and of course, I am going with black, Lipstick. So this is a black lip liner from NYX. And I do overline my lips too a little bit just because even though my lips are pretty thick, I still like to have them looking even thicker. It's a good thing to 
put your lip liner all over your lips because then when your lipstick comes off, this isn't a waterproof lip liner, but I do want to get one so that you still have some color there once your lipstick or lip gloss or lip paint wears off. You still have some color there. You can put some concealer that matches your skin and pat that down with some translucent powder and the white makeup should go over that pretty good. But what I'm going to do is I want my tattoos to stick out. So for this one, I'm just going to take some tape and then once the tape is on where I need it to be, I'm just going to fold that and if it's I can cut it myself or I'm going to have somebody help me cut the edges off. So once I spray and rub and pat the makeup in there, then I can go around with an old makeup pencil and fill in the spots where, in between my spider web here, where I want the white to be. So it'll look like I'm really, really pale with tattoos. So this is one way you can do it is just to cover up your tattoos with scotch tape or some kind of skin tape would probably even be better, but I have lotion on and this isn't really going to stay on my skin for too long, so I'm not that worried about it and it's not going on my face so if you do have any tattoos on your face that you want to cover up you might want to get some special kind of tape that is designed for your skin your face okay now that one's pretty much covered up yeah, right there is a little tiny point that's not covered up. So 
do that and I'm going to do the same one with my leg here, which I'm probably going to go out of focus. So I'm going to do that one on my own. But now this one has a really thin stem of the flower. Now the flower part, I'm just going to do the tape again. But when it comes to the stem, I'm going to use something a little bit different. I'm going to use some, I'm going to use a uh, liquid latex. Now this is designed to be put on your skin as long as you do not have an allergy to it. You even see the girl on, <clears throat> excuse me. Now you can even see the girl that's on their label is covered in it and people get painted in this stuff all the time and but what I'm going to do with it is it's kind of clumpy because it's very old but I'm just going to oops, I feel something on my foot I am just going to cover up my tattoo here. Anything that's exposed. Now you could do this with all your tattoos if you wanted to, if you had some kind of intricate designs or oh, see there's kind of some junk build up here now if you have some tattoos that are really open or kind of just like outlines you might want to just do this Okay, so this tattoo here is just about covered. I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry. I'm going to tape up the rest of my one on my foot here and clean up this latex and pick out an outfit. And then we are going to start body painting. So I'll be right back. 